What's up guys, this is Kefis and we are back leveling in more World of Warcraft. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Let's get on with it now. Let's go get some treasures. I have handy notes up, so that should make this whole process a little bit easier. I'm not going to get all of them, just the ones that are nearby and then we'll keep questing. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. We're going to try to get on out of uh, Jade Forest today. That's kind of the plan, which is kind of sad because I really like Jade Forest. I also like how these treasures show up on my minimap. Uh, that helps out quite a bit. Okay, here's one. It's inside here, which I actually have to come back here, I think, when I talk to what's-his-name, but I'm probably going to move on before I do that. Look at that. 46,000 XP. Quite nice. Quite nice. All right. There's one. Let's see. Let me look here. It's a little bit confusing. Like, some treasures, they're there. I don't know. Is this one I just got? I can't tell. Um, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Lulz, I'm silly. I just went back to the same place I just was. Blind guy alert! <laughs> okay, there's one down here on this little thing. Do I want to get this ore? Nah, I don't care. Um, see, there's one right here. It's weird flying, man. I'm telling you, it's still kind of like, what the heck? I'm flying while leveling. Uh, I've never done that before. Look at that. All right, we are 86. Technically, we could leave, but we'll go ahead and keep questing here for a little bit longer. Might as well get some... XP in and, and before we move on that way we are not uh, you know we're not moving on too fast I remember like the first time I leveled here I finished the whole zone and I was like halfway through 86 so yeah I think we're gonna be all right all right we got a quest here what is this oh, that's just a thing um okay let's go back over here and we'll do this looks like well that's just a waterfall not a treasure um the numbers are the uh the little things that you would find that uh, work for an achievement, the little uh, artifact places, th these things here. So that's what that is. I remember hunting for those. That was fun. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I've been uh, thinking a lot about Warcraft lately, actually. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about just, you know, Warcraft, the game, and the future of the game, and, and everything, and, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. And I, I talk a lot about my thoughts about Warcraft here. Um, I don't like to just, you know, make videos, just random videos where I just talk. So I, I kind of like to put all that in here and, uh, you know, always feel free to give, to, to comment and add to the conversations that could or, or might be started through my random, whoa, my random thoughts almost ran off the edge of there. But, um, you know, I've been thinking about Legion, you know, and I haven't played any yet. I haven't gotten into the beta, uh, or alpha or whatever it is, um, and I haven't really, you know, I haven't seen a lot either. I, I tend to avoid, you know, spoiling too much. Although I do check, you know, certain things out. You know, check out MMO Champion and see things. I don't mind too much. But, I mean, I don't like to watch, I mean, too much on it. I like to experience it more. Uh, but I do check out a few things. Like, I don't like to watch, like, ironically... I, you know, unless I'm actually looking for a guide, I don't like to watch rotation videos, for example, unless I'm actually trying to learn it on hand. Otherwise, it just seems like I, I'll forget everything I just saw. But just, you know, just checking out the different things about it. And I, and one thing that I can say is that um, it looks like, like any expansion, you know, you would expect. It's It looks exciting because it's new. You know, it, you know it's hard to tell you know, wh wh what's going to end up happening. But what I will say is, of all, like, of all the times that, you know, this has probably been said about Warcraft, I feel like Legion is the crossroads, you know, for the future of this game. Um, you know, I, I feel like Legion will make or break Warcraft from here on out for, for people. Uh, I think that Warlords has run off a lot of people, and I think that a lot of people might be gone for good. Not everybody. Not, you know, but I think, I think that, you know, Warlords was kind of the game that people were looking to, um, cool, I got an upgrade, to kind of, yes, yeah, so I'll equip it, it's fine, um, to revitalize the franchise for them. I think that Warlords was that expansion for a lot of people, um, and I think that they failed. Uh, I, I, I would call Warlords of Draenor a failure, it, absolutely. I'm, it doesn't mean that everything about Warlords of Draenor is bad, but it does mean that I don't think it accomplished what they wanted it to. I don't think that it uh, drew the numbers. It did initially, but, uh, it, you know, it very quickly dropped off. And you can't ignore that. You cannot argue that, that, that Warlords... You can't... It's hard to say Warlords was a success 
when they lost half their player base and then some. Um, to the point that they're not even giving us figures anymore. Just to, you know, that should tell you something right there. Um, so, I mean, you know, there are always these like mobs that are hidden behind the mountain, and it's weird. But um, so I, I would say that Warlord of Draenor is an uh, is an abject is an absolute failure. Um, it, you know, it, its its strengths are masked. You know, they're hidden behind its 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 weaknesses. Um, you know, in, in terms of lulls, uh, you know, a lull in an ex in an expansion is the time when the current content is stale. And, and people are just kind of waiting for new content. And so in the, in the process, there's very, not very much that people are feeling compelled to do. Um, that is what a lull is. And, uh, and that's kind of where we are. And quite frankly, it feels like that's where we've been for quite a while now. Um, which, that's kind of normal for an expansion. Like, uh, I remember, you know, you think of like the Siege of Ogremar lull. You think of the, even the Wrath of the Lich King had a long lull. Um... You know, every expansion kind of ha has had it. It's lol, which is kind of the point of what I'm trying to say is like in terms of lols, this is probably the worst by a mile. Um, and so, you know, it's very interesting that you know, like, when it comes to paying a monthly fee, you know, it, it's it's hard to to feel compelled to do that when there is such a lol, and when people aren't playing the game, they're not really interested in the game and, and that of course makes things difficult for for people who are obviously like me who are making you know content <laughs> but um there are still people who are interested okay now we're going to do this helicopter battle thing um but i mean like it, it's it's hard for me to be interested in the game and it's not that i'm not interested in the franchise or that i don't want to play the game it's just that like there's n like it's really hard to uh to have things to do and the, the truth of the matter is, I've kind of felt it for the majority of this expansion. Um, my first lull in Warlords came in January, um, which is kind of alarming when you think about it. Like, I think January was when the Foundry came out, and I was already kind of feeling like, okay. And then we didn't get anything until, what was it, June or July with 6.2. I'm not counting 6.1 as a legitimate patch. Um it was a sub patch. Uh, it, it was actually quite. I mean, they they were doing it to to label it, I guess, because it technically it was, technically it was a patch. But if Blizzard tries to say you know six point one was a content patch, if they if they market it, they're insulting our intelligence because it was not on par. It was hardly a content patch. Um, it, it it fixed a few things maybe. But, you know, like when you look at other games that add in content patches, you know, like, like take like, like Ark. I, I talk about Ark a lot right now. I'm playing it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm getting a lot of great feedback for it. It's going to keep happening. So that's, that's that. Um, I'm excited. But at least like if they put, like if they do patches like a couple times a month, even if they add in like one new dinosaur, you know what I mean? Like, or maybe one new item. It's, you know, that, that's actually something that's viable. You know, not like a freaking selfie cam, which was just a weekend project, and the selfie cam is actually quite cool. But I mean, like, you know, as, as much as people make fun of the selfie cam, it might be one of the coolest things to happen in World of Draenor, to be completely honest. That's my opinion. But I mean, like, this quest is hard for me. <laughs> but I mean, like, overall, like, it, it's it was one of those patches that just did not feel. I think it kind of soured us on the on, a lot on the, on that, and it was very much a sign of things to come. You know, we get 6.2, and, you know, that's all we got. 6.2 was the only content patch that we got. And and we're waiting still for new content. And, you know, and, the, and they always, again, they patronize us by saying, well, if, if we keep adding more content, that's going to make the next expansion, it's going to take longer for the new expansion to come out. And it's like, okay, um, that's a problem. Because there needs to be a, I mean, when you look at the old, the older days, like when content lasted longer, and also when content was happening more often, you know, like, it feels like Warlords has been a smaller expansion, but when you look back at the time frame, it's about the same amount of time as, uh, I think as, um, as, um, Mop was, I, th I feel like, maybe, maybe a little bit shorter, uh, but it feels like about the same, and, you know, it's it's been a little bit over a year now, um, 
it seems like we were I don't know I can't remember maybe maybe it is faster but you know it still feels like we've gone longer without content why am I flying all the way up here right now when I should be down there killing things this route is crazy because I suck and it's actually going a full route probably but I'm talking so whatever um it's actually a great thing to do while I'm trying to get my thoughts together but you know it's just one of those things that it just feels like it was uh really really weird in terms of content and 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 also like you know I know like people are going to say oh they put a lot of work into it don't don't be mean don't you know whatever the the defenders defenders are weird um the way they defend their companies but you know uh I guess like it just felt really odd the just the the lack of it, it felt like a drought like a content drought this time it, it was like it was like so watered down like you know all the stories you know that were really interesting at first i remember just watching those cutscenes before the game came out i had gotten a hold of the cutscenes and i remember just being so into those um you know it's really odd to to go from from that and being so intrigued to where to where i am now and you know like you take a hero like uh, grom hellscream who was really just one of the most beloved characters in the in the entire franchise and you go from that to now being one of the most almost oh here we go with, with chin lols um to being almost one of the most hated uh characters now because of the way he was handled in uh in, in this expansion all right let's go get some more treasures chin's gonna do his thing or not chin but Cho is going to do his thing, and we'll go around gathering up a couple more treasures. But, um, you know, the story, you know, the, the, the one of the most stronger points, and, and people always harp on me for saying that I like the story, and I see where they're coming from because, like, eh, you know, it was neat, but at the same time, yeah, it, it definitely kind of, in the end, it didn't pay off. Um, it felt disjointed. It felt like a lot of it was missing. Okay, there's another treasure. I want to say it's in the water. I think it's kind of hard for me to see so let me see here isn't it in the water maybe it's not in the water I could have sworn it was like oh yeah there it is I moused over it that's one of the things about having a tooltip over my mouse it makes it easier for me to find things um, but you know like so they kind of dropped it on the story as well and I'm not, I'm not gonna you know like I like Blizzard I've been playing their games for 20 years 15 to 20 years now and uh, but I don't feel like they're above criticism obviously um, I don't, I don't, you know, like there are two types of people. There are people that just constantly uh, harp on them and, and just talk about how much they suck and how much their games suck, and yet they continue to play them. And then there are the other, the other types of people who are just in such denial that that the game is not in, you know, it's not in a bad state. Everything's fine. They're they're doing a great job and blah 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 and whatever. And then and they're just kind of like blind to, um, like they're just choosing to not acknowledge that. Yeah, actually, they dropped the ball quite a bit. And uh, just click on here, and they're going to talk, and then we're going to talk. So I'm going to talk over him because I don't even care. But, um, you know, so so I've always kind of tried to be somewhere in the middle. And I think that's what people, you know, I, I've said this so many times before, I know. But, like, I'm thinking about, like, all this stuff with with the Warlords and how much it just kind of sucked. I, I, I will say that my opinion about World of Journal is that it sucked. It was under par. If I were to rate the expansion, I would rate it a six at the at best, and that's just because the raids were fine. And and you know, people talk about the rating was great. Actually, I mean, it wasn't. It's not like the raids were better than what I've been given before. Like it, the raids were on par, and I think that people like the raids so much is because the rest of the game sucked that much. I'm being dead serious. I don't like having played through the raids now. It's like they were what rating has always kind of been and in in my opinion not as good as as like not as exciting as wrath's raids which had story and had interesting fights and had interesting characters and had you know and even like cataclysm who had where there, there were interesting characters and um you know in some of those raids you know even though like the rest of the game was like meh but like you know, so like people talk uh, highly, and including myself, about you know like the raids and, and warlords. I mean, they've been fine, but that's just it. They've been on par with their other raids, and I think that they just seem like maybe they're they they're we we think of them so well because quite frankly, the rest of this expansion is a utter garbage. 
Yeah, I'm, that's a strong word, but I'm going there. Uh, leveling was fun for a minute, <laughs> but you know, once you got through that and you got through those cutscenes, like, like legit, I don't feel like any of those cutscenes had any longevity to them, other than the Garrosh one uh, with Thrall and Garrosh in that fight. I think that one might have some longevity, but the other ones, you know, those characters, like I guess maybe Black Hands, that was a nice little story. Black Hand was a big threat. He was very dangerous, and then we took him out, and he was a final boss of a raid. The other warlords, no, no, that not not nothing, you know. And even a couple of the zones, like I don't feel like Gorgrond or Spires. Spires of Iraq had a great story um, in itself, you know, and that was that was fine. People love uh, the story in Spires of Iraq. I think that a lot of other people might have missed out on that story. Um, because it didn't have a cut scene and because it wasn't, but it, you know, it wasn't part of the main story, which in the draw was the warlords. And I feel like they were the weakest element in the whole thing. But, you know, I'm saying all of this to point out, you know, what we've all kind of known and probably what I've said a thousand times before, uh, on and off. But when I look at Legion and I'm like, okay, where are they going with this? And, and, and how's it going to work? And is it going to be fun? And, you know, yeah. I'm interested in it. I'm, I'm hoping for the best, as always. I'm not as excited as I was for Warlords. And I think that's just because like, I've been burned enough now. Like, it, you know, we'll see what happens. But I think that, like, it, I'll put it this way. If they're putting everything behind those weapons, it's not going to work. If if every if all of our attention if all of their attention is the progression of your artifact weapon, it's going to fail. It's going to fail. It's going to be interesting for a minute, and once that weapon is is maxed out, that's it. And if all the new content is going to be, hey, there's new uh, uh, progression for your weapon, it's going to suck. You like that's the part of the problem. I think I know I already did that, but I you know all oh, we're done. <laughs> well. Part of the, that's part of the issue is that you can't just put all of your eggs in one basket and expect it to be enough. And that seems like that's kind of their mode, their MO these days is, here, we're going to put all of our faith into this new one feature. Um, the rest of it's just going to kind of be whatever. And it's fine to have a new feature. You know, it's fine to have like, think of like the new, like the artifact weapons are that new ingredient. But the rest of it needs to still be good. You know, like, like if I cook something, like I love to cook pot roast, okay? Sometimes I like to try new things in that pot roast and try new ingredients in that pot roast, like a new flavor or something like that. Like sometimes I'll add in extra garlic or I'll try a new seasoning or whatnot. And sometimes it works off, works out, sometimes it doesn't. But if I don't cook that pot roast right, if I don't cook it well, if it's all tough and it's not tender or it's dry, it's going to suck. And dry is actually the perfect word to use because that's how this content has felt, is dry. And yeah, the new seasoning was nice for a minute, but the rest of it kind of sucks. It's kind of dry. If all Legion is is this weapon and then we're just raiding like we were in, in Warlords, it's going to suck. It's going to be the same issue that it's been. This is my history, I guess. Because I'm a panda. And and that's the reality of it. That's that's just looking at history and people can say, just give it a chance. You don't know how it's going to be. Look, I've been, we've been there, done that already. It's it's fair to make assumptions at this point. Um, and I'm just going to tell you right now, if, if, if Warlords or if Legion is having fun for a month and then just doing nothing but raids, then I'm done with this game. I'm I'm not going to give it time. I'm not going to give it time to develop. I don't want to see it develop any further. I don't want to know where it's going next. I don't care about future expansions. I'm not giving them $15 a month anymore. I'm not going to work to farm up the gold so that I don't have to pay $15 a month anymore, uh, which is something that I should want to do, by the way. Um, I'm not doing that anymore. That's it. I'm done. I, I, don't, I don't feel like... And part of it is a it's it's more like a principal thing. I do not want to support a company that isn't putting legitimate what I feel legitimate effort into make you know making their game as fun as it used to be. And you know and I, and I know that might sound a little bit harsh, but having been playing this game for you know what 
10 years now, I know what they're capable of. I've seen firsthand what they can do. And I do not feel like what we've been given is what, you know, is what they, they're they capable of. I, you know, th this, the lack of content and just like the, what 6.2 was, it started off kind of neat, but it, you know, it, it did not end, you know, it, it ended fast. And that, you know, it was a very surprising, I think to a lot of us, we did not, when, when we realized, oh, that's it, you know, like that's all we're getting. Wow. I think that was a, a shock for for a lot of people and it was like wait you know like well that must mean that that legion's right around the corner no not even close legion is still in alpha everyone uh that should tell you something that game is not even close to being done uh we, we we're, you're looking at probably you know i thought maybe may i'm i was wrong i don't think so uh <laughs> probably not maybe but probably not probably summer like they said probably late summer at this point um, so, you know, it's, it, we'll see. And, and if I wait all that time for, for Warlords 2.0, no, that's it. I don't care. I, done. I, I will, I will make videos for other games. And if I don't have the same audience, that's fine. Because I'm not going to support a game that doesn't put effort into it. Uh, and I'm not saying they don't put effort into it. I'm just saying that maybe, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe Blizzard is, is moving on. Maybe as a company they're mo and they probably are honestly they're probably moving on from being the MMO giant. But well, what I will say is it's it's funny to watch them go from being the the company that that set trends to being the company that is now kind of following trends. You know because it, you know, like if they want to get into esports, which is not not a stupid decision by any means, it's actually quite smart. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. I can fly. Um, Smart for them to want to do that, but if they think uh, if Heroes is going to be their 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 game for that, it's not going to happen. I mean, maybe eventually, but not. I, I don't think so. And and I love Heroes. Heroes is the only MOBA that I play, but it is it's not even second. It's not even second place. You know, in terms of being the the top MOBA, it's not even second place. It's not even third place. It's quite honestly. Heroes is probably fourth place. I would say that in, in, in terms of player base and interest, it probably goes League of Legends. And when I say League of Legends is first, I mean by a country mile. It is what Warcraft once was in the, is in the MMOs to whatever was second, which was probably um, back in the day, maybe uh, Final Fantasy. Well, maybe not even Final Fantasy. Maybe, maybe um, what was that one called? Rift? I, dude, I don't know. Like, maybe SWOTOR? Maybe. I don't even know. But not even close. You know, Warlords, nothing held a candle to Warlords. Um, or, or, I mean, to, to Warcraft. You know, there, and not that there weren't other good ones. It's just that Warcraft was the, was the, big, the big boss. Um, League of Legends is the big boss in MOBAs. Uh, second place is probably Dota, um, I would say. Um... Uh, third place is definitely, and, and this is where uh, second place and third place are probably a lot closer. Third place is probably Smite. Uh, people love Smite. Smite is, has its uniqueness in terms of how it's presented. It's, it, sets, it, sets, it sets itself apart very well, and it's also on consoles. And, then, and so Smite, is they know what they're doing. They're working. They're getting their players. They're setting themselves apart, and they're being unique. And they're also expanding their audience where no other MOBA has. So that they're very smart in what they're doing, by a lot. You know, so that's what makes them second, uh, maybe second or third. Dota has a large following. Heroes has a following, and like I said, it's the only MOBA I like, and it's the only one I play. But I'm also a realist, and I know where where people are putting their interest and their money in. And it's it's league, and, and then it's the other ones. Um, it's funny because people think people will say, "Oh, you don't know anything." If it wasn't for Blizzard, there wouldn't be mobas. That's where moba. Oh, dang, I attack. I freaking aggro this guy again. I can kill him again. I don't care. Uh, Heroes is you know league is where uh, league would never have existed if it wasn't for Warcraft three and the original uh, moba. That doesn't mean jack, you guys. I hate to tell you that. That does not mean anything in terms of Blizzard's ability to make a MOBA and make it successful. Blizzard didn't invent MOBAs. 
Somebody else did. It's like saying that the people that made Arma invented DayZ. No, they didn't. No, they did not. Somebody else took the DayZ or took the Arma engine and made DayZ. And that spawned similarly, that spawned a new genre of survival multiplayer games. But that you can't give credit to Arma for that. You know, Arma made their game and people liked it enough to make a, a cool mod that spawned a new genre of games. That has nothing to do with Blizzard's ability to do so. Blizzard is following the trend, you know, of 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 a esports style game that that has gained a lot of popularity and has become kind of the new big thing. Everybody, lo uh, people love MOBAs. It's the game to stream. It's the game to play. It's the big it's the big money maker in terms of pro, pro gaming. It, it, you know, and that's the thing. And, and you know, yeah, Heroes has been on ESPN or whatever, and that's great, man. That's great, and people like the game. But when you look at the meta of the game, and you look at the fact that it's quite a lot more casual. Um, and by the way, whenever people say you know it's not as good as you know, Blizzard's big marketing defense is, uh, it's not a, it's not a, you know, and I've made fun of them for this. You know, it's not a it's not a MOBA. It's a hero brawler. When they say that, it comes off as so second rate. You know, it's like just say it's a MOBA, you guys, because that's MOBA. Heroes of the Storm is a MOBA, everyone. It's a MOBA. It is the same type of game. Whether you want to call it something else and try to market it as something else to to shut the shut the critics up or whatever is it doesn't work. It makes it sound so second rate. You know, every time I show heroes off to someone who isn't a huge blizzard mark you know a huge blizzard fan like i am they just say oh it makes me want to play league or it makes me want to play smite that's what i hear a lot and that doesn't mean that there aren't new people coming in and there aren't people that used to play league and that come play war or play heroes i'm sure it happens i'm just saying that for the most part uh people are are into what they're into you know and and he and and, and so heroes you know whether it's whether it's because of the way the game is made or because of the way the game plays or because maybe they relate to the dance I don't know but you know it's not going to be the Warcraft of MOBAs and maybe they maybe you could say well they're not trying to be fine but the point is is that they've gone from being a a trendsetter to being a trend follower and you know that happens to everybody I guess but you know you would think that you know they would think okay well what we need to do we still need to make sure that this one, our big, our big game, you know, which is World of Warcraft, continues to be the big thing, and that's where our focus, you know, like our making this a great experience, that's where it should be. And you know, whenever they say, "Well, we're fine with people being seasonal players and all that kind of stuff," it's like that that doesn't bode well. Okay, these flies as a melee suck. Like this is a big pain. There we go. Fly up and get them. But you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of like well. Like, you shouldn't say that to people. Like, you should not say that as a company we're okay with the game being seasonal. Like, that, that, because, why? Why would you, you know, you're, it's a subscription game. That, that by itself should say, well, we want people to play it as much as possible. You know, like, like, it'd be, it'd be one thing if, like, a game like, um, you know, uh, Destiny said, yeah, we're fine. You know, people play it for a while, and then they go, and then they come back, and then they play it some more. And, you know, because they don't pay a monthly subscription. You know, and when people pay a monthly subscription, it's hard for them to quit and then want to pay a monthly subscription again a couple months later. Some people might. A lot of people are like, eh, I don't want to put $15 in to play this game and try it out again. Like, when you have people who are saying, oh, no, I actually want to play. I'm just bored because there's nothing to do. That's not good. You know, like, like when people quit playing Fallout, they're like, yeah, that was fun. I, I beat the game and I did everything there was to do and I'm done. When people quit playing World of Warcraft, it's more like, uh, man, I don't know. They just, it just, I, I guess it stopped. Like, I, I, I wanted to do more, but it, there was nothing else to do. And, you know, I, I was going to, I don't want to sub anymore. Like, that's, that's kind of like what people tend to say. It's like, well, that's interesting. You know, like, like, that's how it is with me. I'm not tired of Warcraft. I just don't, like, there's just nothing compelling to do. Um, another big, oh, I missed a quest. Another big argument that I get is this is an interesting one too you hear this a lot world of warcraft has been out for 11 years you know it's time for the game like people are losing interest that's an interesting one because i've been playing video games for a long time and i have watched as franchises continue for years 
uh, through generations, too. And that's the other thing, is when people say, oh, well, you know, we played it when we were younger and we've all grown up. As if World of Warcraft is in a vacuum that only belongs to one certain generation. Also, very stupid. But the whole, like, oh, the game is 10 years old. I can kind of see that. Like, yeah, I guess maybe to a degree uh, people are getting bored. They've been playing it for so long, they're kind of done. But then again, look at a game like uh, Call of Duty. Whether you like it or not, it gets criticized a lot for being the same thing every year with its new iteration. Call of Duty expand or Call of Duty new Call of Duty games are the equivalent of a World of Warcraft expansion in terms of being the same thing, just adding new content to it, new story, new whatever. It's the same, except you know you pay sixty dollars every year, and that's what people don't like. And yet, in spite of all the backlash that it gets, in spite of all the the hate. All the, you know, all the grief that it gets and all the grief that Call of Duty fans get, log into Xbox Live, what's the number one most played game right now? Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Guess what was the number one game before Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Call of Duty, uh, well, what the frick was it? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, one of the top most played games. Before that, it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 or Call of Duty Ghosts and it was Black Ops 2 and it was Modern Warfare 3. Guess what guys? Call of Duty has been one of the top games for 9 to 10 years now. Hasn't hardly lost any traction. As much as people like to try to say Call of Duty is dead, guess what? You're delirious if you think that way. Because you can log in Xbox Live and see that that's not the case. Because it's still one of the most top paid and top played games on Xbox Live. If you don't like it, that's just the way it is. So when you look at that and you see games like uh, Wind Waker that's been out for years getting re remastered and people love it, and games like Resident Evil getting remastered and people love it, and it's the same exact game that it was 10 years ago. It's just hard for me to believe that people are losing an interest in the game because of time. When the game is being talked about to the degree that it's being talked about by so many people, it's hard for me to believe that it's because the game is 10 years old. It's 10 years old and you're making a movie out of it. 11 years old. And, and you've got people talking about it. Still. So how is it possible that people are just randomly losing interest because it's been out for so long? People were saying that when the game was 5 years old. The game's getting old, man. People were saying that when the game was 3 years old, for crying out loud. People have always been saying that, and yet the game is still here. Just like other games that people love. If people love the game, if they love the IP, they're going to keep playing. As long as it's fun to play. That's the bottom line. <laughs> That's how it's always been with games. The more, As a matter of fact, the longer a game is around, the more people get attached to it. The more they get attached to the world, to the characters. Like Mario and Zelda, people want more. That's a good thing. That's how gaming works. That's how it's always worked. That, that doesn't change. It's like anything else. TV series. People love the same shows. That's why shows get re rebooted, brought back. People don't get sick of it. I mean, yeah, it gets old. You want new content. That's all people want is just give us new content. You know, give us something new. Give us a new feature and some new content. We'll play. You know? But that's not what's happened. I mean, yeah, we've gotten new content, but they've changed so much. They've they water down so much. They take things away. They They... They kill the, you know, like in Warlords, you can't tell me, like, you log in and what are you supposed to do? Raid. Check your garrisons. People don't like that. So guess what? They unsub. Because it sucks. Period. The reason why people quit is because the game sucks. Because it's not the same game that they remember. That's why they quit. That's why they complain. That's why I complain. That's why people complain. Because they don't want to quit. They want to keep playing. Period. You know, and that's, you know, like, and that's, that you know, and I know that I rail on people that complain, and yeah, there, there is a point where you're just complaining, just, you're never going to be happy, and that's something else, like, people say, you, you'll never be happy, that's not true, it is for some people, it is for a lot of people, actually, there will always be people that are going to complain no matter what they do, but the point is that specifically with this expansion, there, is, there are enough people out there who are saying the same stuff that you just can't ignore it anymore. And if Legion is the same, if the, the class halls are just a, a another type of garrison, they might or might not be. But if they are, it's not going to work. 
if all we do is build up our weapons and that's it, it's not going to work. Period. Because it didn't work in Warlords. That's the point. If it didn't work here, it doesn't matter if you change it up slightly. It didn't work. It's not going to work this time. It'll be the same thing. And people will quit again. <laughs> and then they, and then even less, they're going to come back next time. That's the point. So, anyways, that's my thoughts. And, you know, again, when you look at classes, one of the biggest, bigger concerns that people are having when they look at new, the classes, you know, some of the revamps are nice, but... And I can't believe I'm saying this because I, I don't mind this because I play with a certain style that let the fewer the buttons the better. I don't represent everyone. I actually represent a smaller portion of the player base, as a matter of fact. Very small. I am going to admit that. I don't represent everyone. There are a lot of people that my play style is not for them. That It's very boring. But it works for me, and I don't mind. I, I prefer to, you know, I, I'm a button masher. I love brawlers. I love games where the fewer the buttons, the better. You know, like, or, but having to keep track of cooldowns, it's not for me. But it's for a lot of people. And if they streamline and strip and prune and dumb down these classes so much that they are just a couple buttons and a couple abilities, people are going to hate it. People are, it's going to suck for people. And I... I understand. I understand where people are coming from with that. You know, so, uh, you know, yeah. So, I mean, you know, like, again, be careful if you prune too much. And I think that they're pruning so that they can add. But that's, you know, we'll see, man. We'll see if that's how true that statement is. Um, but it does look like that talents are going to be more meaningful. It looks like that there are going to be some variations. In theory, again, though, if it's not balanced well enough, man, I don't know. So... Uh, we'll see. P same with PvP. We'll see how that goes, man. You know, it's it's hit or miss. They're doing a lot. I will say this. They're doing a lot to try to change up the core game and hopefully make it more enjoyable. And, and, and in that regard, I'm glad. But if people don't... See, here's the thing. This is where I do defend them. If it works, people will praise them. If it fails, people will blame them. And that's, you know, that's that's just the position that they're in. If, if the expansion works out and it's fun and it pays off and people enjoy it, if the majority of fans like it, then Blizzard will be great again. And if, if, if not, if it sucks, if it's like Garrison's were, people are going to hate them and they're going to say, you ruined the game. So they're, they're, in a, they're in a tough spot. And they can't win with everyone. And there are some people that they can never win. But my you know I guess my thoughts on all this are, We'll see what happens because I think that this time it really is for at least for me and maybe I'm the only one, but it's it's hit or miss and you know just hearing the the, the talking heads and I guess I'm one of them, um, you know I, I just hate the weird I hate the way people just just completely mindlessly bash everything that they do, but I also hate the way some people mindlessly defend every th single thing they do. And I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts, you know, like, and so, like, I would love to hear what you guys think. I mean, are you excited? Are you cautiously optimistic? Kind of like I am. I guess I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, it can't get here soon enough. I will say that because, my God. Um, but, you know, I'm also like, you know, I hope it's good, man. I hope it's a good expansion because if not, you know, this might be my final World of Warcraft uh, experience. And I've never, people say, oh, people say that all the time. I've never said that before. I've never said that before. This is my first time ever saying that. Um, you know, and so th that's, you know, we'll see if they deliver. And, and, and here's why I wanted to say it. I want to say it because of this specific reason. There are a lot of other great games out there now. There are so many other good games. Specifically multiplayer games and specifically free multiplayer games that are just as good. And I know some people are going to say, no, they're not just as good. Yes, they are just as good. They're just as fun. Some some are even more fun at this point. Um, and they're unique, and they have their own thing. And they may not last as long, but in those cases, it's okay because I'm not paying a premium fee every month. And that's another key factor in. So that's why a lot of these other games... Like our, that's why Blizzard Spotlight is kind of 
dimmed down because it, they're not the only dog anymore. They're not the only big dog anymore. And it, and yeah, they may not be other RPGs, but they're other multi massive multiplayer experiences that are just as good and that have their own unique spin and that don't cost a, a fee. And I think that goes a long way, and and that might also be a big part of why people are leaving. That one I will accept. Why are fewer people playing World of Warcraft? Because World of Warcraft isn't the only good multiplayer experience anymore. Or the only good massive multiplayer experience anymore. There are plenty of others out there. And, and for World of Warcraft to continue and justify a monthly fee... And yes, the monthly fee is a, is a, deta is a, is a detractor for a lot of people. For, for probably millions of people. You know... Which is why I would prefer a free-to-play model for World of Warcraft. I don't care if that bothers people. I don't care. I think that's where they need to go. I think that that will add more people, more interest, more players. They can find new ways to earn money, uh, and people will pay. And I, I think that I think that having a large game sometimes is better. Um, you know, it might revitalize the game. I don't know. I'm not a marketing guy. I'm not a. It's just my opinion. I think that's where we're headed, guys. It's just my opinion. But we will see. Um, you know, so, but that's, you know, it's a big part of it is, is like, there are other, there were, once upon a time, World of Warcraft was the only one that was seen worth it, because it's where everyone was, because there weren't a lot of other games like it, and that has changed. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens um, with, with, with Legion, and what Legion does, and what they do, and what it brings to the table, and I'm, man, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I will say this about it, I guarantee you I will have fun with it. I guarantee you that it will be fun for a while. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta throw the bombs at the... What am I throwing the bombs at? Oh yeah, the fish. There we go. So, I guarantee you Legion will be fun for a while. I am positive. I am confident in that. Because, you know, yeah, they might make some mistakes. No one's... No company's perfect. Um, but Blizzard is capable of producing some good content. And they're also capable of producing a lot of hype. Um, so... And that's, and that's why... I mean, that's why I keep playing. Because I know that they're capable of making great games. Um... I still have fun playing Diablo 3. Also, I always forget the skin. You know, I still have fun playing Diablo. It's still a fun game. Heroes is a fun game. I, I love their games. But, um, you know, it's it's, it's just going to... We'll just have to wait and see. So, anyways, those are my thoughts going on right now, guys. Um, I'm going to grab this treasure up here, and we're going to call it an episode. But before we go, now is the time where we are going to vote. We haven't voted in quite a while. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put up a poll, and the two options from here will be either uh, Valley of the Four Winds or Veil of Eternal... No, Valley of the Four... Let me look. Okay, Valley of the Four Winds or Caressering Wilds. So I'm going to put a poll up. You guys vote where you want to see me go. Valley of the Four Winds or Veil... Or freaking A. Valley of the Four Winds or Caressering Wilds, and based, based on the poll... I will go wherever you guys want me to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to vote. We've hit 87, so we got two levels in today. That was a great episode. I got to share my thoughts and my heart with you guys. I hope I didn't make anybody mad with my opinions. I don't mean to do that. So uh, please, guys, give me feedback. If you want to add anything, if you want to share your opinions with me, I'd love to read and see where other people stand with the game right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it wasn't too negative. Uh, wasn't trying to be. Game's great. Love the game. It's fun. But I'd love to hear what you guys think and, and hear your feedback as well. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to boat. Don't forget to boat. Boat away, guys. <laughs> Give me those votes. Give me that feedback. And I will see you guys next time.